Hello, hello. Oh my God, my screen looks amazing. It's because Alex is in it. Thank you, Crydar, appreciate you. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday, Alex. Dude, it's Friday. It finally is Friday, man. God, hope everyone's having the best day ever. I had a productive day. I um, did a whole bunch of stuff I need to do this morning and then I cleaned a whole bunch. Organization was key today because I'm really trying to gear up for that big giveaway stream and that was basically my day. But how was your guys' day? I hope it was just as productive. If it wasn't productive, don't feel bad. Simple, thank you so much for a tier one, I appreciate you. Also, hi, hi Oak, hi Ryan, hi Zykos, hi Ants, hi Andre, hi McPen, uh, hi Lynx, hi Lean, hi Belldoink, hi Just Press, hi Abel, hi Disco, hi Checkmate, hi Ryan, hi Platy, what's up dude? What's up Eb, Esteban, Victor, Irregular, um, did I say hi to disguise too? I think I already did. Hi Dirty, hi Spork. Had a fairly productive day, super stoked for the long weekend. Yeah, it's Canada Day this weekend, right? That's gonna be fun. Uh, when is your projected date for the August shenanigans? It's actually gonna be July now, Dirty. Um, I just Eight figured it'd be the easier for what I'm trying to do to do it July life. 15th instead of August 15th. Cause actually I might not even be available to do the stream on August 15th now. I know, I know. Smoked, thank you so much for the prime. Eight months of the longest commitment, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be July 15th now, probably. What time of day? Um, I mean, I was thinking during the day, but I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I want to do it at 7 p.m. Uh, but pro it probably isn't happen at 1 p.m., let's be real. Jordan, thank you so much for tier three. God damn, keep on keeping? I'll try my best, man. Whew, thank you, dude. Alex, how you doing? What's up, kids? Grace, how you doing? I'm doing okay, just chilling today. Just uh, took a shower before stream. My hair's not wet, is it? Didn't really dry it. Um, July 15th, it's perfect. I have a few days off then. Yeah, I just figured August is gonna be busy for me. And then it seems like a lot of people are having a busy August this year. So I just figured like, why bother? So random question, is there a GMK set that looks like Signet from Kikobo? Not that I know of. Is there, guys? Where's my Pepe Hands emote when I need it? I have half of August off and was hoping for it then. I'm sorry, Dirty. Yeah, August 15th just doesn't work. A lot of August is actually gonna be really crazy for me. Yeah, it's, it's, let me see. Let me double check so I'm not lying to you guys that it's the 15th. I have it set already to, yeah, August, uh, July 15th. But, who knows, maybe we'll start that particular stream at like four o'clock and then we'll we'll kind of bleed it into the night. That way there everyone has like a good little chance to, you know, hop in that stream. When's Alex gonna make a GMK set? When are you guys gonna make one, huh? I'm so bad at designing stuff like that. I feel like I'd miss the mark, bro. I need to collab with something on that. The Garen is R2 is apparently being shipped next month. I am stoked. Ooh. That should be a nice one for a lot of people. I think a lot of people I know ordered that one there. The orange accent on the sonnet is looking so good on camera. Right? Dude, more people need to not be afraid to mix and match GMK sets and just sets. If you have the privilege of owning more than one, I use, I steal little pieces from other sets and I think they look pretty sick. Um, Cycle 8, I think I just got that in and I might have to move around some stuff to make it fit into July. But if they allow me to, I'd probably want to do it first week of August. But I don't even know, I haven't really, to be honest, haven't looked too much into the, I guess, release of the Cycle 8 here in the West. So I need to double check when the Cycle 8's even gonna be released and then kind of base the schedule around that, suppose. So, what's this? TK Chalk keycap set. This is kind of cute. I like the desk pad. The artisan is really cool too. Bookshelf artisan. That's a cute little set. Um, good keycap color that matches a retro beige board. Well, besides beige, I think if you can find yourself a nice brown set, oof, that would slap. Even like a light green set, like Dandy for example, Dandy would slap. Um, I think there's a lot of really nice colors that can complement a retro themed board. So. so nice. Alex, I have a serious question for you. 
How sure. do you feel about the recent drama surrounding streamer and other streamer receiving bans on multiple platforms and losing huge sponsor deals? These have been happening without any evidence other than admission of wrongdoing? Does this put more pressure on you to keep behavior and language skookum? Or do you what ignore it all? What are we all? talking about? Oh, we, did this something happen in the keyboard community? Uh... I mean, judging by that answer, I probably... Oh, the, do the doctor disrespect thing? Oh... Dude... You know what? At the end of the day, that's, that's, uh, I can have whatever feelings I want it. I don't watch the guy. I think, uh, listen, if he admitted to doing wrong stuff, let's be real here. That's on him. Uh, and hopefully he, you know, gets what's coming to him in terms of legal stuff, or if that's already been dealt with, then so be it. But it's not going to stop me from just being myself on stream, if that's what you're asking. Um, I mean... I don't know. I, I just build keyboards and have fun with you guys, that's it. In terms of like language and stuff, nah, me cutting back on that sussy stuff, that's because everyone was getting too crazy, bro. That's because everyone was being too crazy with that stuff. And that was kind of getting under my skin. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Alex, I currently run a Shure SM7B and want to stream keyboard builds. I don't necessarily recommend that microphone, but it's still really good. Do you recommend getting a condenser mic? Um, I think a shotgun mic's really good. That way there you can get it at, at kind of like your head level. Mine's like an inch above my head. So, I, I don't know. I, I think a shotgun mic works really well. I think a condenser mic can work well, but a dynamic mic, absolutely not, dude. I think dynamic microphones are just, they have, well, maybe not all of them. Uh, some of them are a little bit more, uh, um, they have a little bit more uh, bass. I guess. So, not always the best combo, you know? That's my question for chat. It was Doc. Oh, okay, okay. Are the Alex Otos sonnets in stock and also pre order? And they're just pre order. It's just pre order. Uh, we decided to do it now. That way, they're. Okay, my, my ideology here was hear me out. They said, do you want to run it in stock, but after the release of the pre orders? And then I said, well, what if someone buys a sonnet and then want it this color instead and then goes well now do i have to buy two sonnets i just figured it'd be easier to do it now as much as i didn't really want to do the pre-order it just makes more sense so you don't confuse people uh so that's why olive's also a really good set um to the person who is mentioning retro colors olive is a great set but yeah, before, I th hope that answers your question, man. I don't condone any of that shit, though. That shit's irredeemable, in my opinion. But, um, hey, like I said, karma sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when you add regular sonnets to your cart, it says pre-order, estimated ship date. The Alex doesn't say anything. Oh. Uh, it should be pre-order. As far as I know, it's pre-order. I'll talk to them about that. I didn't know that was happening with that. But yeah, it's pre-order, just like everything else. The Bakunoku Go looks cool. Uh, we're gonna be doing one on the weekend, so. Uh, I don't know, I'm excited. McClacky, thank you so much for the tier 20 one, 20 months, wow. I feel old. <laughs> Y'all have a great evening. Dude. It, you know, I, I, I feel like some days I feel a little bit old, but sometimes I don't. You know, like some days I realize I'm 32, I'm like, oh, that is, Maybe in comparison to like some of the, to, you know, the audience that we have or whatever. But honestly, it, dude, you kind of feel an age sometimes. Like you kind of like, you can't let you get let that number get inside your head. You know what I'm saying? About to be 33, my guy. Make, don't remind me, okay? Full head of hair, you're doing fine. Hell yeah, dude. Um, have we tried Gator on smoothies? No, not yet. Hopefully soon. How do you like your stream deck? I hate this thing. I didn't, if I'm being real, Eb, this was not my choice though. Like I did not want to buy this. But the, the reason why I had to pick this thing up was because the macro system I was using when I switched to OBS, it didn't allow for some of the shortcuts I had. And even though like you can go in, you can set things, it just didn't work as well. And then after paying, like Streamlabs, it worked fine. 
But um, Streamlabs also had some limitations with things, and Streamlabs had this weird color issue with my cameras. So then I just broke down, and I was like, well, I know the Stream Deck does all of this, um, but I don't love the Stream Deck. It crashes a lot. Like, there are days, like, before Stream, I have to restart my entire computer. Uh, I don't love it. I don't use it for anything outside of Stream. I know you can, but I don't because I have keybinds and macros I've set up for years that I already know off the top of my head. So it, I don't think I'm the right use case for it. It's nice for pausing music and doing some Zoom stuff, but I mean, how often do I even really do that, you know? So I think it comes down to, do you feel like you're gonna get good use out of it? I don't know, man. I'll tell you what though, one thing that's been on my mind lately that I need to talk to you guys about, dude, my posture. I've been, um, today, I was sitting down, I, I took a break and I was playing a game of TFT with a friend and I was like, I was doing one of these and I was like, dude, I need to just like sit back and like get every, yeah, dude, insty, for real, bro. So I need to just like get in my chair, like feel it out again. And then, I don't know, I kind of got myself into a comfy position. I also got to stop sitting on my feet. That has to stop too, dude. I think that's like my my biggest gripe about sitting down sometimes. So, yeah, I want to stand in that soon. That's going to be my next big change, boards. hopefully in about a month was or two. about to get a parallel beam 65, oh, but yeah, the seller decided oh, wait, to sell it to another seller. person, Satch. Oh, smooch. I'm even considering a clone Kohaku skeptical. No, don't do, don't get that. Well, I mean, obviously do whatever you want with your own money. But I would say don't get that. If you want something polycarbonate, can I be real with you? Right now, what kind of slaps? Polycarbonate Salvation, uh, sorry, uh, Redemption 65. Um, guys, don't, there's no need to shame him or her. There's no need to shame. They're just talking and they can do whatever they want with their own money. Um, mode Sonnet, you could go with Mode Sonnet, you could go with the Mode Envoy. You could even go with uh, the 65. It has some polycarbonate parts, I believe. Uh, PC Januaries are available, that's right. Literally morals and respect issue, respect to the designer. I think there's nuances to a lot of this stuff, Dirty. I don't want to get into it right now because it's a long conversation. Um, with a lot of deep facets. I personally don't do it, but I'm not going to shame anyone else who does it for any reason. Okay? I don't think it's something we need to get into today. I don't condone it, but I'm not going to shame someone for it. What is this? A lot of ins and outs, would you say? A lot of ins and outs. Oh, I think this was just a bag that it came in. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm just gonna put this back. Bro just builds Kohaku's on a weekly basis. <laughs> no, I don't. All right, let's do this. Um, <clears throat> Hi, do you have any thoughts on the I just Fairy got a sound switches? I board and am now realizing that none of my keycaps have a 1.75 U enter. I am rather sad now. 1.75 U enter? Hold on a second. I feel old now but love being here pockets. 40% of a 1. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, I don't think that comes standard in a lot of kits. Yeah, I don't I don't think it does. That took me a second to realize. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think that does come standard in a lot of kits. Also, Dr. Killswitch, thank you so much. I feel old now, but love being here. I'm happy you like being here too, man. Yeah, I... Does that come in base kits these days? Because even 40s kits are kind of tough to come by with a lot of kidding these days, too. At this point, Elaine should just send you a bunch of Kohaku's for commission. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool to get, like, a lot of one thing, but... I'm just happy to build whatever for clients and people. Today, though, the client did have Megan a special Aaron request. Megan gifted a tier 1 sub to 1 NSD 1 GH Thank you, Megan Aaron. I appreciate they you. They have given 73 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, thank you. Uh, always, always appreciate the love, guys. So the client basically wants a dual shot kind of themed build going on here. So they sent us over dual shot. 
And I think this is the, like, this is a great color of the Kohaku to do this. I like doing stuff like this where we got a little bit of a theme that we can kind of put on for display, but this is, I, I, I am torn between if I like this particular Kohaku more or the polycarbonate one. And I got to admit, I think I like this particular finish more. This is, I, I like gunmetal grays and like titaniums and stuff like this. These are my jam, dude. I love these things. This might be the best build yet. Yeah, this actually will be a really nice build, but I absolutely love this kind of color. Um, was there anything else in this package besides the PCB? How do you even get a Kohaku? Um, you just get... I mean, you would just have to kind of, queue, not queue up rather, but you would kind of have to just enter the raffles and whatnot, or if, if it's in stock or whatever that is. But yeah, that'd be really it. Oh, it's two of the same plates of silk. Can I put one back? Yes, two of the same plates. But yeah, for the person who mentioned polycarbonate build earlier, I hope those suggestions can help. But there's a lot of good polycarb boards that I feel like are decently available. PCB. So this is a hot swap PCB. So today's build won't be extra long, but I mean, you know, we'll still hang out and chill. Just go to Mech Market after you sell. Oh, wait, no, I'm sitting on my leg again. No, I'm not gonna do this right now. No sitting on my leg. I gotta, I gotta get, get out of that habit, bro. I gotta break that habit. I mean, this can't be good for you sitting on your leg like that. I really gotta break this habit. The Ruber Haku, Haku looks goofy AF. I don't mind it. I don't think it's that bad looking. I just don't like the way they teared off certain things. So it is not good for you. I know, I know, I need to stop and I need to quit. It does feel good though, dude. It feels like, I don't know what it feels like, but. Okay, Lincoln Park. Hey, Lincoln Park's sick. Ah. All right, let's put some feet on this. I think we'll go with clear on this because the the darker feet, I feel like, are too contrasty. I've got a leg you can sit on, but now I'm a reformed man. I appreciate that, Dandy. Feels like sitting cross-legged on the floor. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm doing it again. I need to, like, everyone with everyone needs to do it with me, guys. We need to do this as a team. We need to get into that better posture phase of our lives. It's difficult, dude, it's so hard, man. Like, I think that's one thing I really need to work on. I'm not gonna lie, you got me off my foot. Does everyone here sit on their feet sometimes? I'm actually curious now. I feel like it's a really common thing. I do sometimes, it's comfy sometimes. I don't know why we do that for. Now I, I actually wish I knew. Have you seen those wide seat chairs that are the big enough you can sit crisscross? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want something like that, to be honest, Andy. I appreciate the, uh, the recommendation there, though. It's very kind of you. It's a warmth thing? Mm, that's true. Maybe it's a stretching thing? Could be. Speak for yourself. My posture is immaculate. I need to maintain perfect posture to play rhythm games. The plus side of my rhythm game addiction. Oh, does that kind of tie into the, the, the rhythm game thing, Crydar? That is interesting. All right. So, we are gonna put some nice accent pieces on this today. I think this will look great. And then I filmed and lubed a whole bunch of switches today. Um, we have our stabs, and then we have broken in hyperglides. So these are ultra glides, and I had to really sit down and lube these a particular way because if I lubed them too much, then they just kind of felt very flat sounding. And if I lubed them too little, it sounded thin. So I find with Ultra Glides to mod them, first of all, they need films. Absolutely, it's a must. Um, but they did feel, they do feel good right now. I kind of had to go with more of like a light medium coat, which is kind of my standard with cherry switches, I feel. So nice. Sitting next to Mr. Jeff, aka Scooped Bar, eating Korean hot pot. Wish oh. you were here. Jeff wants to know when the body pillow is coming. Less than three. It went from really nice to Jeff ruining it. That's crazy, dude. 
Uh, no body pillow. <laughs> Jeff. How do you describe a switch sounding thin? Um, imagine, oh fuck, that's a really good question by the way. But imagine a, almost like a plasticky sound when you press on the switch, instead of it sounding kind of full, like instead of it sounding like, do I have a switch on my desk, for example? Not really. Uh, maybe, what's this? So nice. Please, yeah, instead of it sounding like this, clownfish, I, I ain't got, no, no more. No body pillows. Honestly, guys, I was going to do that as a joke, but the, I don't want to sell you guys just covers of pillows. I feel like I'm scamming people at that point. Like, that's just weird. Like, I don't want to just, I want to, if I'm going to sell a pillow, it has to be the whole ass pillow. And I, I ain't going to do that because that's a lot of money to ship those things. God damn, like, dude. Thank you, JQ. Like, do you guys hear this? Now, imagine this, but just a not as bassy sound. Um, so it'd be way less in the low end and more on the high end only. And that would, that would, that's how I probably would describe thin. Actually, Boomer got it really on the nose with that high pitch where the sound comes and goes really quickly. Yeah, I, I agree with that sentiment. Also, thank you so much. I appreciate you, JQ and Toby. Sweet thank you for tier one. Thanks for all the good vibes. Thank you, Toby. Really appreciate that, bro. Thank you, guys. Cop the stone slash PC sonnet. Hey, yo. Uh, so, so excited for it. Alex, you gotta try out Key Geek Mirror Lake switches. Mirror Thin Lake. and bright, same, same, but different, but still same. <laughs> Thank you, B4. Wait, PBT plus 30% fiberglass bottom housing. Interesting. Hold on. Let's see these. I like the way they look. These are cute switches. They're amazing. All right, I'll order some after this. That's not, I mean, dude, I'm kind of on the hunt for something new switch-wise to try out, so. I've seen a few switches with fiberglass bottoms. Wonder what it does to the sound. Quality said they are amazing. And I, Quality's really selling me on these right now. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. He's really selling me on these. Gat smoothies also? Oh, so smoothies have the same bottom? Is it the same kind of mix? Yeah, I guess we'll just do this. Have you checked out the Switch oddities? Uh, no. Guys, I went through a big Switch phase, like last, was it two months ago, where I ordered a crap ton of Switches to try on stream. And I just finished going through those. So now I'm going through whatever came out last month. I, I'm not, I'm not super fast with keeping up on the Switches. The Switches are, uh, the switches are probably one of the toughest things to keep up with in this hobby. There's a, like a new switch every single day. And uh, smoothies are almost two years old. Well, huh, doesn't matter. It's still so hard to keep up with all the switches, man. Switch oddities. Your one-stop shop. Oh, I've seen this website before. Yeah, I've seen this. Uh, I want them. I love weird switches. Need to get my hands on more with GMK Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory was fun too. All right, let's lube this set of stabs. And these are TX, so I'm just gonna do 205 today. But I got no 205 in here, so I'm like, let me just squeeze some in here. Sunset Gleams are called Duck Duck Switches in other places. So there's duck switches and there's duck duck switches. That's probably why they Rotate switched the name, honestly. hundreds of dollars for only 75% of a keyboard SMH. You better have a good stream honey bun. Adam, this is 65%. Wait, are you talking about this one here, Adam? The Sonnet Pal? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, man. Thank you, Zays. Appreciate the uh, the prime, dude. And also, Adam, thank you very much. Adam, keep your eye on that tracking, dude. I dropped it off three hours ago. 
So you should see uh, it update probably tomorrow morning or on. Actually, if they don't do it this weekend, I'll probably update Tuesday morning. Bro, things I won't be refreshing every 10 seconds. I know you will. That's why I'm letting you know. Adam is actually getting his keyboard. Yeah. I've, I've taunted him long enough by holding on to his prize winnings. Well, actually, not really. I did try to send it out to him, but his postal code didn't work. So I had to switch his postal code because they want the long form version of it. But uh, yeah, now I finally got it working and they accepted it. So big, big win here. <laughs> he was the only person to not get it. As a sorry for me not shipping him his keyboard fast enough though, I packed him a box of silent switches. Uh, thoughts on Divinity X Moto Tess 65. Why does it sound so familiar? Um, I have to take a look at that again, Abel. I don't, like, off the top of my head know what that is, but it sounds like I've seen it. You would say sorry like a Canadian? <laughs> I wonder why. Maybe it's because I'm from here. Uh, Adam living on a deserted island? Bro, if Adam lived on a deserted island and it took me two times to try to deliver his thing, I would actually just give up. Uh, you're a menace and I'm cooking up trouble. What, what is that, Dirty? What caps would fit well on a raw finished Neo 80? Well, the beautiful thing about a raw finished keyboard is it's consider it like a silver NL. You know? I know it's not the same, but just hear me out. With silver or anything like that, everything works. Like every particular keycap set that you can think of will, I would say 99% of the time look great on a silver or even raw finished keyboard. Maybe it's just me, but I think silver is such a safe color to go with when it comes to keyboards. It's okay, just ship me his board. I'll give him when I see him in Philly. Trust me, bro. Right, I trust this guy's. Panels on raw looks really good. You know what's a really good combination on something like a raw keyboard? Hear me out. It's an SA set though, so you guys kind of have to like be open-minded, all right? Uh, the X-Wing SA set. I think X-Wing on Raw looks super good, dude. Because X-Wing kind of has that, um, it, it's kind of that deteriorated X-Wing kind of vibe in the color scheme of the keycaps. And I think it goes super well with like a, an unfinished kind of keyboard. It's, it's such a nice pairing, but again, it's, you know, it's, it's not a cherry profile keycap set. So be open-minded. Yeah, that's the one. I think, Drecky, I think that combination goes hard. I mean, yeah, they kind of, even in the photo here, this is more of a weathered keyboard, but how sick does that look? No, X-Wing ships in one of those regular ones, um, those regular boxes. The one that I received was in a package like that because Mike wanted to show me it early. That was it. It was an early copy of it. I hope you guys know, though, that once those... I'm not saying that these are gonna be, I'm not trying to condone that. I'm just saying that there's gonna be no more SA keycaps anymore, you know? So once these are done, like, I don't know if they're gonna maybe produ get produced somewhere else, but that's it. There's no more. Alex canceled SA? No, signature plastics ain't a thing anymore. So what's the build for today? We are doing a Kohaku. I think, what was it, they retired or something? That's sad. Yeah, well, I get it though. Did SP get a buyer? I didn't, did they? Are we sure? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm mistaken. Did, uh, did SP still around for now, but it's an in limbo thing? Oh. I don't know if they'll still do keycaps though, if, if someone else buys them. I mean, who knows? I have no clue. SP's website is still active. I mean, that makes sense. They're probably still fulfilling whatever things they need to do, but they did, as far as I know, the people who ran it before stopped. Did Matrix not green light taxi build yet? Oh no, they said I can build it whenever. I just didn't have time yesterday. I thought I might've, but I'm probably gonna be doing it um, July 8th, I think. But they did, they did say I can build it whenever. Do you have a favorite type of grocery store ramen? Um, 
I've tried a few and they're all pretty good. I don't really know the names of any of the ones that I've tried. I'm not really, like my go-to quick meals aren't ramen. My go-to quick meals are bread and deli meats because deli meats, if you buy like 200 grams of deli meat, it's like 350, four bucks. And that'll make you a few sandwiches. So that's my go-to quick food if I need to make something in a hurry. And then I get some bread. Uh, I don't know, that's just me. I can see you got your Sora today. I did, I did get it, dude. Gotta be careful with the nitrates. Yeah, well, it's okay. They're really good, it's really good, so not good for your colon. I don't have it all the time, but when I do, it's delicious. I love me some uh, mortadella. That's my favorite deli. And if I'm feeling really fancy, I get a slice of cheese that day. <laughs> my colon's fine. What is your go-to quick meal? Can you buy GAT smoothies? I can DM you about the, uh, the address unless you have a PO. Wait, can I buy you GAT smoothies? Silent. I would, I, I would feel very bad having you do that for me. I will pick some up. I pinky swear it. If anything, Silent, DM me to remind me to buy them tonight. I do not want you to spend your own money on, on me. I, I can do it. Don't even stress my guy. I think uh, you should spend your money on yourself. As much, as much as it's a nice, you know, it's such a nice thing. I really appreciate it. I really do, Silent. It's a great, you know, offering, but I will, I will get it. Don't even stress, my dude. It sounds like a challenge. Buy them oh, for you. Gosh. You need them. Oh my gosh. No, 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 guys, please. I got it, don't stress. Have you tried Gat Summertime Switches? I have, but it was the first batch I believe. Wait, was it the first batch I tried? I don't remember. Alex told me to buy a new cube confirmed. There you guys go. Oh my God, no, no, no guys. It's okay, we can each buy him one switch. <laughs> How would that even work? I feel like that's a lot of money in shipping, guys. The smoothie hype is real. You're sleeping on them. I I hear you guys loud and clear, and I will get them, and we'll put them in a we'll put them in a board very soon. Okay. I got you guys. There's 260 of us here. That means 260 switches. Your post office should not be happy. I mean, dude, I don't even know how I would haul that stuff home. Smoothies are linear of the year. Okay. So I got two switches to, to pick up. Smoothies and Mirror Lake. All right. Adam, I'm always out, out and about going to the post office. That's how I keep myself uh, in shape too, you know? I get to walk around a little bit, do that old thing. Is that a new Kohaku color? Actually, um, for any of the... the Really diehard Kohaku fans. Is this one of the newest Bucky's colors that Elaine's going. made? Going. Wow, wow, Alex is sexy. Wow, wow, love your face. Dude, that first wow, Dane, was so weird. In my headset, that first wow sounded like it. That was a weird wow. It was like, wow. It was like that to me. It was really. Yeah, it like voice cracked a little bit. That was. That was interesting. Thank you though, Dan, I appreciate it, dude. Wow. No, now it's back to normal. It, it, it just got a little nervous, I think. <laughs> Jesus, dude. JQ! Thank you so much for tier three, dude. What the? Oh my God, thank you, dude. How do people get these Kohakus? Feel like they are getting them from an in-stock site. Um. I don't, I, I, I don't do as many Kohakus as you guys think. I do like one or two Kohakus. Believe it or not, I am not doing a whole bunch. Uh, I don't know, when did this person, let me see. This person I think won theirs a little while ago. Oh shit, why is there so many build tabs open here? One sec guys. Yeah, 
uh, oh no, this is actually might have been aftermarket. And guys, there's a lot of yeah. So this is an aftermarket purchase. So there's not a lot of I don't know. I feel like a lot of yeah. There it is. I paid aftermarket. Okay. Oh, Lean, are you the owner? I didn't ask for your Discord name on on Twitch or on my email chain there with you. Yeah, like I, I do have a lot of clients who tell me they've won, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. More people have told me they bought at aftermarket than won. So maybe it's the same person being sold from the person to person. They all keep saying it to Alex. True. It could be it. What's up, CG? How you doing, man? Everyone knows you stock Kohaku's in your closet. Boy, you're not supposed to tell no one that. Let me just say you a beautiful smile. Thank you, JQ. I appreciate that, dude. Thanks, man. Also, guys, I had ruffles for the first time in a while this week. <sighs> Let's just say they hit different. They were on sale at the grocery store for three fifty, and that's a great price for 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 ruffles. So, damn, that was a a great meal. Lean, thank you so much for ten tier ones, dude. I appreciate that, man. God damn, happy Friday. Yeah, I'm excited. Tomorrow is going to be a clean, uh, part two of my cleanup day. And then uh, tomorrow I feel like it's going to be a really busy day for me. I got some family stuff to do too. By the way, Sunday stream will not be at 1. It will be at 7, guys. I got a few requests. And plus, I have some family stuff I want to do on Sunday as well. So, Nathan's streaming again this month? When? Today? How do you mod your Obscuras? Same as the regular switches, Adam. Just a little bit of lube. Actually, less because it does come with a little bit of lube already on them, Adam. So I just kind of move that lube around. Uh, notice any big difference in sound between normal anodized Kohaku and PC? Uh, I would say there's a significant difference in sound, yes. Um, the PC Kohaku has more of a not in a bad way, but it's a little bit more flatter in sound signature. It's not quite as metallic or high pitch. And really kind of lets you focus in on the, the switch sound. While the aluminum Kohaku, I find, has a bit more of that natural kind of resonance that happens inside the board. So I do find it, it's, uh, it's a little louder. Is the music a bit loud? My bad, guys. Let me turn it down a little bit. Is that better? Um, it reads me out that after you made that Teha age joke, I looked it up and he's actually the same age as me and also named Nathan. Hello, Alex. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I still don't really know the origin of that jokes. It actually blew my eardrums out. ER currently. S sorry, Adam. Later. Um, I don't really know the origin of the whole Teha's 50 joke or 49 joke type thing, but I always thought it was funny. It actually blew my eardrums out though. That's crazy, Adam. Honestly, I was too lazy to look around for Vint Blacks and cherry picking them all, and every build online had MX Blacks, and yeah. Well, I think you're gonna like these particular switches, Lean. And then, if worst case scenario happens and we don't love the space bar, you have a hot swap build, so we can always, we can quickly switch your space bar out to something else too. I have a lot of switches in stock. Maybe if you want a scratchier sounding space bar, I can go dig up like a vent switch that we can quickly get you in there too. Hmm. All right, I just sat back down on my leg. Do I remove my leg from underneath my ass or do I just keep sitting on it? I feel like I'm just gonna do the right thing and just not sit on it right now. Uh, this is actually very difficult to do by the way, guys. This is very difficult. You're destined to keep sitting on it. I know, dude. Gremlin mode? Oh, no, 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 I can't. Try elevating your legs with a stool. That's something to think about. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll get like one of those foot rests for underneath of my desk. I was on my leg again too, off it again, now too. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying and every time I'm gonna stop myself, I'm gonna let you guys know. Ow. Vint Blacks are a meme? They are not a meme. I can tell you with with experience, there is a, 
significant difference in at least the scratchiness of the switch from all the cherry switches. And I know that because I've used thousands of them at this point. Can't live without my foot rest. I need to get a foot rest then. Maybe that's what I need to get. Do you have any pets? As much as I'd love one, I don't know, man. I feel like for two, two things why I don't think I'd be getting one anytime soon. First of all, I can't even, I think even thinking of the thought of having a pet eventually, you know, I don't even want to say it because it's sad. Leave eventually really uh, makes me sad. And I, I really don't think I can, I, I think that would break me for a little bit. And then I think the second thing is, I think it might be a little hard with the small space that I'm in because it's, you know, it's a lot of client stuff and I don't want cat hair and dog hair and whatever hair inside boxes and stuff. So uh, if y'all had to choose between $500,000 or a dinner with Alex, who would you choose? Easy, $500,000, bro. You guys don't even need to pick a dinner with me. Don't, don't even stress about that. Easy peasy Lee. <clears throat> Alex eats with Alex every day. <laughs> like when I sit, I sit in front of a mirror and look at myself and I'm like, thanks for the company, buddy. If you take the 500,000, Alex will never talk to you again. Okay, that wasn't part of the original stipulation. Come on now, and Alex dinner is only 250, take both. Dude, if you guys get 500K and don't have to have dinner with me, can I, can I be honest with you guys? I'm not the most fun person to have dinner with. You wanna know why? Let me be real with you guys, okay? I eat really quickly because I don't know, I can't get this out of my head, okay? When I was growing up, I, I, I have two brothers, okay? At the dinner table, my mom would make food, right? For us when we were small. And the guy who ate fastest got the extra piece of food. All right, because whatever leftovers were left. So in my brain, and I cannot get this out of my brain, I'm just gonna be like this forever, I'm pretty positive. I eat as quick as possible, even if there's no leftovers or no second helpings, or if I'm not even hungry for, I'm just, it's in, it's in my brain now. This is how I grew up. So I eat really quick, and then I kind of sit there at the table. So I don't think it's very fun uh, to have a dinner with me, to be honest. Alex prison lore incoming? Oh my gosh. Never use high quality keycaps again or use high quality keyboards again. Wait, wait, wait. what's the question? What's the, what am I picking? Never use a high quality keycap set again or never use high quality keyboards. Shit. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. Keyboards, I would never use high quality keyboards again. I think you can make not high quality keyboards sound great with good quality keycaps and switches. I would pick keycaps over keyboards. That is just my two cents. Okay. Warning to everyone on stream right now, this PCB is really red, so. Well, my camera picks it up as really red. So if it's gonna hurt your eyes, avoid looking. Avert your eyes. Everyone with GMK on their $100 breaths of sigh of relief. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, thank goodness. Alex about to throw a set on a GMK 67 and call it a day. Dude, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. That GMK set on the razor board sounded lovely. So anyone who, who disses up any sort of, you know, keycap set making a keyboard sound good, dude, I think keycap sets can really carry a keyboard sometimes. It's my camera, man. The, the, the red on camera, and especially the internet, red's just a really weird color for web compression and stuff too. So it doesn't always look the best on camera, unfortunately. Glassy PBT space bars are a nightmare. Yeah, you know what's interesting is, um, here's a question for you guys actually. Would you guys want, okay, let me rethink of this question. Hold on, would you guys want, 
Do you guys want sound or like non-shiny keycaps? That's the question. Like, would you each prefer a good sounding keyboard and not have your and your keyboard, your keycaps might shine? I guess, nah, this is a stupid question. I don't even want to ask you guys this because I feel like it's all very preference-based and I'm just kind of being one-sided with this. So, because I feel like it's preference. I, I would also, if I had to answer that question, though, yeah, sound for me too. I could care less if it shined or not. Uh, keep a color checker near you. Yeah, I should. I need to, I'm the only one in my IT department. I need some backup. Dude, I know how you feel there. Mason, just uh, head up, my guy. That's it. Genuine question. Why are clone keyboards so disapproved in the community? Um, if you want the long answer to this without getting into some of the nuances of why I don't care if people buy them or not, because it's not my decision to make. Um, why I don't like them and why I don't promote them or why I think negatively about them is, well, a few reasons. The first thing is it's, it's sort of predatory in a lot of ways. Uh, predatory, not predatory, pr predatory. Um, if I work really hard to make a product, for example, right? Let's just say I make this screwdriver set and I'm selling it for 40 bucks because it took a long time to make and you know I'm really happy with my design and you know I'm providing this excellent support that also gets tied into the cost and I'm a small business so it's hard for me to kind of make you know ends meet. So my price is 40 bucks. Well, I made this really cool product. Everyone really wants it. And now another company is like, well, what if I just literally take this exact design because this is what everyone wants. I don't have to do the work of R&D to get here because someone's already got this. I don't have to work, do the work of marketing because someone's already done that. I don't have to worry about customer service because I'm just going to be a terrible vendor at this point here because I don't care about anything else. I clearly don't care about the first two things. Why would I care about customer service? I can sell this for $10. I think that's where the problem for me lies because you're not only taking someone else's hard work and marketing and all this stuff, you've kind of just taken a shortcut. And I think me as a person, and this is a very personal thing, me as a person, um, if you take shortcuts and cheat to get to where you are, I think very low of you. Like that's just, you know, I think people call them grifters and stuff like this too. Like I just, I don't care about people like that. I think if you're gonna take shortcuts and step on people to get to where you are, I, I you know, there, there's honest work to get done and honest work to do things. And if you're gonna take that that shortcut just because you want to save a few dollars, like a few dollars, you want to save some time, like for me, I can't do that, dude. You know. <clears throat> so when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's just not my it's just not my cup of tea. And I I think to answer your question, Zykos, a lot of people think the same way, um, where it's you know you're kind of taking that shortcut um, when you're looking into clone stuff. And again, you know, I understand though, there's lots of nuances into why you'd buy something. Sometimes you don't even know, and that's not your fault. Uh, but I, I think there is a lot of bad to be had with, uh, with clone sets. I won't buy clones. Yeah. I mean, again, you can make your own decisions. Sometimes it's even a money thing. Like I, I get it. I hundred percent. There's so many nuances to this discussion and I'm not saying you shouldn't do anything. All right. But I, I think in the long run, to better support the community that, let's just say you really want to be into keyboard Zykos for a long time, to better support the community you're in, you try to avoid doing the thing that's going to hurt the community that you want to be a part of, right? But yeah, that's just my stance. <clears throat> I was playing Apex and did not see the time? What character were you playing today, Zany? Please tell me it was Fuse. Also, buying clones is a good way to almost sat on my leg. Okay, everyone, make sure your posture is good. Buying clones is a good way to kill the hobby and vendors. Can't clone things if people don't make anything. Yeah, there's also that too. I mean, I used to be very adamant. I don't know if you guys remember from like years ago when I used to be like, clones are bad, don't fucking buy them. Anyone should buy them should be shamed. That's kind of was my attitude. Maybe not as like direct as that, but now I understand like things happen. People buy them. I'm not going to shame them. Like. Gotta, you have to have some level of understanding and empathy there too of why that's why this happens to people so i'm infused now i'm very proud of you elk one 
That's the best character in the game because he's a mustache. All right. That's the best character. <clears throat> Completely agree with being community minded. I guess it's also respect to the creators. I mean, yeah, there's definitely a mix of that too. It's, it's a mix of everything, right? I think there's a saying that's kind of that goes perfectly with this is where, you know, like it's kind of crude though, which is don't shit where you eat type thing. And I think that's probably very relatable to this type thing. <clears throat> I buy clone sets, so uh, clone keys. So wait, what? I buy clo clone keys, key cap sets because I can't afford the higher ones. I understand your vantage point, but I think everyone's situation different. Uh, Length, 100% agree with you, dude. Literally everyone's situation is different. Um, 100%. I get it. Uh, you know, if you want my, my open thought on this, I'm not attacking anyone. But my open thought is like, if you end up, if it's like a money thing too, 100%, what I personally feel is I think you might at, at the end just have a better time with spending your money um, buying the real thing and waiting. But I also understand it from both sets or both sides you know i get that <sighs> favorite keycap sets well anything gmk uh i did buy klein blue clone because i couldn't find the real set available but i don't plan on getting any others again again i don't i don't What's the word here I'm looking for? I don't necessarily condone any of it, but like, do your thing, guys. I can't stop what you're doing. But all I can say is think about what I said, maybe. And uh, hopefully that's enough to maybe sway future decisions. That's all I can really tell you guys. I uh, would rather buy a good XMI set than clones. Uh, there are good affordable stuff besides clones. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff out right now. I'll be real with you guys. There's tons of good keycap sets. I think the keycap world has never been better to buy things that's all in stock and readily available too. Uh, right when I started the hobby, later I wanted GMK Olivia, so I got Novel Keys Olivia and I, I love it. Yeah, perfect. That's awesome, dude. We love that. Yeah, the GMK people are amazing. If you guys had the, haven't had the opportunity to talk to them, they are really cool people. Market GMK uh, price are very bad, but I got GMK Shoko for $30 above retail. Market GMK sets? Oh wait, is there two different plates for this? Let me see, what plate was I supposed to use for this? Maybe there was an aluminum one too that I didn't see. Uh, we are doing aluminum. So let me put this one here back. Just camp on Omni types. I mean, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this too. And I think this this comes from, I'm coming from a very good place when I'm telling you guys, okay? As someone who, when I was, okay, let me let me give you guys some history, okay? And I really mean this when I say this, because I think this is not, maybe it's something you probably won't understand right away when I say it, but I think there maybe could be some value in the story I'm about to tell. When I was younger, I had I don't know, I just didn't have anything. I, I didn't know anything I wanted to do in life. I was depressed, like I didn't, I didn't really have the best outlook on anything. Everything was a bit bleak for me, so the only thing that would keep me happy is just spending money. And whatever dollars I made from my job, I worked, uh, I worked at a retail job in a mall and I was just like, every dollar I made was going to spending, spending stuff. And you know, I'd be like, I can't afford this. And I also bought like, Maybe this was fake, or maybe this one here wasn't, like whatever. But basically every every dollar I had went to something. Then later on, I started realizing that like, that shit doesn't make me happy. Like ordering on mass, being like trying to be included in all these things didn't make me happy. Obviously we're all different. But what I find really helped me was to step back a moment and be like, you know what? I really want this $200, $300 keyboard. You know, I'm just using keyboards as an example. Instead of going wild and trying to look for something that's a hundred bucks, that's all I have right now, I just need to learn patience. Because eventually, if I if I've saved a hundred dollars now, I can save three hundred. If it takes me a little while, that's fine. And I think when you start to have some understanding that like 
you kind of do have to wait to, to get the good thing, you know? It, you, you really, you'll feel better with yourself, you know? I feel like working retail will make you cope that way. Well, I mean, a whole bunch of reasons why. Uh, just weird time in life, right? But I think patience is also a big virtue. Um, you know, that's it. That's me with espresso machines. I'm very patient till I can afford exactly what I want. Yeah. Like I said, if there's one thing I can tell you that I've taken really away from this hobby, it's just how to calm down. Not with everything. Sometimes I jump the gun. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I always, I'm like, I really want this thing. But a lot of the times it's just, okay, you know what? I want the more expensive thing. Like, I'm going to save for it. I'm going to put pennies aside, dollars aside, and wait. I can wait. I'm, I can be patient. And you know what happens 50, 70% of the time? Be, because I'm a lot of the times patient, something better comes out, and then I can use that money that I've saved up to buy that new thing. So it kind of works out in the long run too. I feel like with all this new keyboard coming out this season, it makes me us learn how to choose. Yeah, yeah. I used to overspend on a mech market. Yeah, and I think a lot, I mean, like I get it. Some people go after that grail set because they're collectors and they want that certain thing. And I get that, 110%. But I think maybe the audience that would buy clones really isn't, they don't need the real thing. Um, but I, again, I think there's damage that can be done with buying clones and all that stuff. And again, just patience, I think, is a big virtue with a lot of this stuff. Uh, these are all screwed in, so let's put our plate on. Let's get the other plate from the case. All right. It's less expensive to save your money and buy uh, the thing you really want. Yes, exactly. I think the lack of coverage on budget, budget builds is stemming. Uh, wait, what happened? I think the lack of coverage of budget builds in this st streaming space creates an environment where people want the best, most expensive right from the beginning. Um, I would actually say the opposite. The streaming realm is very small. Like in terms of keyboard content creation, uh, there's like, a handful of keyboard content creators that do stuff on Twitch. You know, as much as people like to meme on him sometimes, I, I personally think the guy's really nice. Hippio does great coverage on a lot of these things and he's a million times bigger <laughs> than myself. Um, so he is great for that type of coverage. And believe it or not, he still does pretty decent coverage on those boards, regardless of people think his content is more geared towards kids and stuff. but. I do what I think is fun for me, right? And I think that's a lot of people in the um, in the streaming space. Um, <clears throat> I disagree, Gingy. The lack of budget builds and streams is a double-edged sword. On one hand, the boards might have a bigger market. However, they tend to sound similar, uh, which doesn't make great variety for streaming content. Yeah, I agree with Adam there too. Um, and then I think a lot of the budget stuff these days comes pre-assembled, so there's not really much to stream. Like, you just kind of show it off and you're like, this is it, I'm done now. And that's really it, so. Make sure all the, the one negative thing about the Kohaku plate is because the aluminum is a little thinner on these leaf spring areas, they tend to fall out of place. It's my one gripe with this particular board. Exodus, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. My first keyboard was a budget board wrecked by Hippio. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't know if people may, I even watched his whole video about the, the ergonomic thing. I thought that was actually a really good video. I know people make fun of him and stuff, but I actually like his stuff. I'm well aware that it's probably not the targeted thing for people here, but. <clears throat> Um, and yeah, you guys can dislike them too. I know there's people who dislike me who probably say the same thing that I'm too nice about keyboards or something, so. Uh, just that streams are, here are some of the most comfy streams. I just come to chill and appreciate the keeps. Baldoink, I'm in the same boat. I just come here to chill out and just have fun building keyboards. That has been my, my, uh, my goal since day one is just to hang out and have fun building boards. I think even in the beginning, 
I truly did not want to review things. Uh, where can I find Kohaku's now secondhand market? Well, secondhand market, probably. I don't even know what they're going for, so. <clears throat> Hippie has a good soft intro to the keyboard. He encourages people to take things apart and mod them. Yeah, you, again, I'll say this because I feel like it needs to be said. I know people hate on him, but I think he's doing a great job introducing tons of people in the keyboards, regardless of what you think of his content. Without him, I truly don't think a lot of the like keyboard stuff would even happen here. <clears throat> what the fuck? This pen's so bent. Uh, I guess he does stuff more for content. Alex does more deep dives. You know, again, that's not actually what I wanted to do originally on streams. Originally, I just wanted to do chit chatting and talking and talking about keyboards and just about life, but turned into a little bit of a keyboard review some days. I like today's type of style of stuff. Uh, I don't think he's doing much of the music these days. Gosh. Gaming streams? Dude. I am not the best gamer in the world. Hey, okay? ma'am. Excited no, no, for any new key stuff coming up. So... We just covered a few of the boards that I was kind of excited to look at, being the Noland End one. That one there was so fun to look at. Um, there's the new Matrix Taxi one, which is really fun. I wonder how that's gonna sound and all that. I know Matrix is still hard stuck in doing 1.2 mil PCBs. So we'll see about that one there. Um, what else has been kind of exciting? There's the new, there's some new Canning Keys projects that are interesting. I have a few other boards that I can't recall the names of, but we're doing soon too. Not as exciting. I think they're more of like, uh, I'm just hoping they do well because they're fun projects. But there is another board I can't talk about. It's actually behind me, but below the camera. It's an interesting board and I think people will appreciate it when we stream it. It has, I'd say a long way to go in a lot of sense, but it's definitely unique. Uh, so we'll see it when we do it. Sat 75X? No, no, it's not that. TKL? I can't say nothing. There should be an in-between for 1.2, 1.6. Does anyone here prefer 1.2 mil PCBs? There's no shame in saying yes, by the way. If anyone makes fun of you for it, they're just being weird. I think the majority of these days prefer 1.6s. I can I can admit this though. Uh, my camera or my audio. I don't mind 1.2 mil PCBs in a plateless configuration. That's where I think 1.2 mil PCBs shine the most because they don't have a plate. So then they can kind of do their thing and be a little bit more bouncy. But a 1.2 mil PCB in a plate configuration Usually for me, doesn't make a whole crap ton of sense. But again, I, I can I can see why people prefer them in like a a plateless config. Only for foam boards. That's fair. The Alexa has a 1.2 mil PCB in its plateless. Yeah, it's a really nice board. That particular one. So I don't think the Kohaku has it, but I know the Unicorn has one single flex cut in their PCB, and I think it works well for the Unicorn. Oh. Okay, this switch we're gonna put to the side. The pin's really bent on this one. I did not like my KBD 8X Mark III sold it because the 1.2 mil hot swap. I might get a silver one with the 1.6 solder. I mean, that makes sense. I think. I think at the end of the day, a lot of people will end up preferring that, the 1.6 mil solder PCBs. Soldering is very fun, and I hope soldering doesn't disappear within the hobby. I don't think it will, but I think more and more people are leaning towards hot swap, which is fine, nothing wrong with hot swap. I just really like the art of soldering. That pen's gonna bend. I 
I think a one flex cut is fine. I also agree with you, Adam. One flex cut usually doesn't detract too much from the overall keyboard. But anything past that, the sound just kind of leaks right through the, the PCB and it's just eh. I despise desoldering. S pup. I hear you there. Luckily I got that, you know, desolder gun, but if I had to do it by hand, dude, oh my god. I hate it. I most solder boards um are cool as you personal end games, so it's you kind of like you're locked in. Yeah, they kind of uh from a project standpoint, I think when you solder something in, there's a bit more of a permanence feel to it. So you kind of feel like, all right, I've made this decision. Like, and it, you kind of add a little bit of personality, your own personal touch to the board too, you know what I mean? Oh, is this one of those plates that doesn't work too well with the right alt? Oh yeah, this is one of those plates that doesn't work too well with this. Um, hmm. So the Kuhaku has this weird thing where you guys might be able to see it on stream, actually. Do you guys see how this one switch is... It leans a little bit to the left, like it's not quite straight. Ah, it's kind of hard to tell. I can tell, though. Huh. I don't know how to fix this on a hot swap build, though. I've only ever fixed this on a solderable one. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to play around with that. Maybe I'll have to like file down the switch or something. <clears throat> That's what I hate about solder. I almost never love my first build. You know, I get it. I, I trust. I, I, I get you there, dude. Maybe the order you put them in? Well, I can try to take off this. I don't truly think the plate's moving around that much, but let's do this. No, I can tell it's not locking in nicely. Yeah. No, it's not sitting 100%. Um, <laughs> struck. That was pretty good, dude. No, dude, it's a problem with the, the Kohakus and I don't know if it's the plate file or the PCB. I think it's the plate files, right? But I think I'll be able to get this in. I'll just probably have to wear down the side of it a little bit. If Milmax didn't cost up this, wait, didn't up the cost as much as it does, that would absolutely be the best way to build boards. Yeah, Milmax sockets, good ones can cost a lot. What's the problem again? I think it's, I don't know if this batch was effective, but it kind of feels like it is because this switch is definitely leaning a little bit to the left, but um, the Kohaku plates or PCBs, one of the two had a small issue with these keys or this particular key where they don't 100% sit very well. And they kind of, you kind of had to really press them in while soldering. <clears throat> but isn't Milmax just kind of configurable hot swap? It is, but there are problems with hot swap sockets being these particular ones. These can, uh, if you're not fair with these, they can pop out pretty easily. One thing I don't understand is vendors not selling a keyb in a complete package, selling the case PCB and weight separately. I mean, only some vendors do that. So not every vendor does that. I also, not that I hate it, but I, I also been like, man, this is kind of weird that not everything's in one thing. Otherwise you'll get a gap between the left and alt. What's the order again? Cough KBD fans? KBD fans does that? They Don't they have everything on one page though? And like make you select things? Okay, I think I actually got it there. Press a little harder. Did I? Left alt spacebar diagonal corners then start from row four. That is so stupid. I think we ended up getting it. Just need to wear down the side of it a little bit. But it looks it looks better now. 
If anything, I'll just take it apart again afterwards. Left space, left alt space bar, diagonal corners. That is so ridiculous. Wouldn't that hurt the rest of the configuration though? Like, wouldn't everything kind of be on a slant then? <clears throat> All right, let's put this together. Stabs sound good right out of the, I don't think there's gonna be rattle. I don't think I need to tune these right now. So we'll probably do that afterwards. High tech series Space Invader switches. Mm, I don't know too much about those. Uh, do the 0, 0.3052 Milmax sockets cause any problems? Um, I haven't had any issues. The only issue you can run into with those atoms is if you put sockets underneath space bars, or sorry, not space bars, but the, the um, stabilizers, they won't sit flush. So you gotta be careful of where you put them in. That's really the only thing you need to be careful with when you're doing Milmax. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say there's like big, big issues to be had with mill maxing. All right, now my favorite thing. Gaskets. I actually don't mind doing gaskets, it's pretty fun. I don't know why. There's just like a joy I have with aligning gaskets on the case. <clears throat> Fair enough, I don't know about Milmax to know the, the cost. Do Milmax sockets cost, uh, I mean, the, the 0305 sockets? If you're planning on putting them on a board, they can easily add like 30 to 40 to 50 bucks to a board easily. It's, uh, it's quite expensive. Ouch. Yeah, actually, I need to order some more. I forgot to do that this week. I meant to order a whole bunch. I'm uh, running low. It's one of the most requested things I actually get is mill maxing. Um, mill max, a stupid bills just added their own hot swap sockets, 20 cents a piece and have better tolerance than 0305. Oh, really? I'll have to check them out then. I, I get my 0305s, I buy in bulk. So I usually pass that discount on to the customer. So anyone who wants me to do them, I usually just charge them charge them the install fee, really. But uh, I hit a pretty decent little discount on mine. Alex, we are home. Dane, what's up, dude? Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's do the top frame now. Actually, let's do it like this. Uh, getting my first summer job paycheck soon. Time to save for a future build. Hey, have fun with it, dude. Remember though, three times rule, but obviously I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your finances, but just have fun at the end of the day. I know it's a summer job type thing, but nice. Love you, Alex. Who said that? Kevin, thank you so much, dude. I hope you're having a great day. Love you too, buddy. Uh, Mechland is my main vendor for 3305 sockets. They're cheaper than Mouser. Well, depending on the bulk level you get from Mouser. For me, it's cheaper to shop from Mouser. But Mechland does really good for uh, pricing. Same, believe it or not, same with Mode. Mode has some pretty decent prices on zero, uh, from some sockets as well. I don't know about 3305, but... <clears throat> Anyone join the N1 group buy? I, you know... Genuinely, I'm very curious to see if anyone's gonna do, um, gonna buy from uh, from them too, or buy the N1 as well. Mouser's not cheaper unless you're buying volumes that would set you for years. I don't know, it's cheaper for me to buy there and I buy like five to 10,000 at a time. Click clack. Maybe one day I'll PC, dude, it's so much fun. It's honestly, Elk One, it's so much fun, dude. Honestly, 550 for this board is literally not bad. I had a layover, lay, lay over in New York and 
Just got Joe's Pizza. Average W for an Alex enjoyer. Dude, pizza sounds so good right now. I had a very small dinner today, so. Ah, oh, fuck, pizza sounds so good. Maybe I buy? It's a cool looking keyboard. I think it's a very, it's probably gonna be a fun project for a lot of people to put together. Again, I don't think the keyboard's incredibly practical, but. Meme God, I gotta see this now, dude. I gotta see this. You put this in uh, food? Food, 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 where is it? You mean like a pan pizza? Fuck, that looks so good. Is that chicken on the top and onions? Dude, chicken and onions on pizza? Fuck. Cast iron forever? I love cast iron pans too. I am very jealous right now. I read your top uh, list of five spring keyboards and saw you put Tofu on there. I just tried looking up the VOD. Do you know where I can find it? It should be on Twitch still. I did the polycarbonate version, it was really good. If not, maybe check my VOD channel. Maybe we uploaded it to that. I know, now I'm hungry, I want pizza. 500 more sockets, that's enough for almost 465, so bulk's the only point. Oh yeah, I buy thousands, Gingy. I buy thousands, like last time I bought 10,000 and I was out in three months because of how many boards I was mill maxing for people. Or not 10,000, 5,000. I was considering doing 10. I should have got 10. I'm, I'm kicking myself in the ass for not doing 10. <clears throat> can we see your mill max drawer? I mean, I can show you guys what I have left. I have, where is my mill max? Do I not have anyone? No, maybe I don't have anyone. I thought I had a few, I, thought, I think I had like a keyboard or two is worth left. Oh, it's right there. This is all I have left. So last time I bought 5,000 and I, I just put them in these little jars. This is all I got left. Whatever's in here. It, this is not from Mechland. This is just where I store them. Whatever is in here is all I got left. That's exactly how Mechland ships them? Yeah, I, I used to buy all the time from Mechland as well. I just I just kept the cases. I try not to throw away any of that nice packaging because I can reuse it. Uh, all right, so let's put this back together. God, I love the Kohaku. What a beautiful looking keyboard. I really want to get my Kohaku's, uh, I really want to patina the weight. I think a patina on it would look super nice with that uh, Gorilla Glass backing. It would kind of give it that nice like shine, that nice extra little bit of contrast, you know? But I need to figure out what I want to do for a patina on it. Like imagine this, right guys? Imagine the weight being patina, then having this really nice reflection on top. Like how sick would that be, dude? How many Kohakus do I have? Um, I have an original, like a, a V1 Kohaku or whatever, and then I have a polycarbonate one. Uh, I sent my Kohaku weight to a custom scroll work. Can't wait to share it with you. Ooh, that does sound pretty cool. I'd love to see that. Hey Alex, do you have the cycle eight scheduled around next month? I heard Tejas say earlier he's getting one sometime in June. I think I just got it in and I'm considering streaming it. I'll kind of give you guys a rough estimate. I don't know. I'm, I want to stream it late July, but I don't know when the cycle eight's actually being released. So I got to figure out timing of that as well. Compliment for Pazuzu. Hey, you know what I'm always gonna make time for? You, all right? You're always gonna be on my schedule, all right? I hope you're having a great day, Pazuzu. I hope everything in the life in your life's going absolutely wonderful right now, and if it's not, it's gonna get better, okay? And uh, just remember that you're very worth it, okay? I don't know if you guys care, but KBD fans are doing some full brass tofu redo cases. Ooh, really? Have you guys seen, I know I talked about this at the other stream, but have you guys seen the Margo keyboard from uh, KBD fans? That thing looks sick. All right, let's take a look at the assets. 
All right, so the client's goal was to make this kind of look like the Neo Ergo that we did with the dual shot keycaps. Now, if I remember correctly, so I still have the keycaps on my Neo Ergo. It's right here. One second, guys. What did I do? I did... So this is what I did with my Neo Ergo. I put the accents here and then a red accent for that. Okay, so let's just copy this kind of. <clears throat> you mean like Jeff's doing with his Neo? Jeff copied me. Cycle beginning of August. Oh, if it's the beginning of August then, yeah, I'll just do it late, uh, late I guess mid or late July. I don't want to do it now and then forget about it. Again, we'll tune spacebar as we need for this as well. God, this is such a pretty looking board. Uh, my name is Ray and I want to start a keyboard line called X-Rays 60s. Introduce and reimagine X-Ray uh, detailed to be featured from the inside out to make you appear like using X-Ray version of keyboard. That'd be interesting. I'm here for it. I'm always, I'm always here for very like niche novel ideas. I think that's what makes this hobby really fun. Dude. Like when you can just get something fun that doesn't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily need to be the most practical thing in the world, but did I watch episode five of The Acolyte? I heard it's better now a little bit, but I still have a very strong viewpoint on, I don't think one episode can redeem a whole entire show. Um, God, why can I can close this nice? I'm going to wait to hear more reviews on more of the future episodes. And if it says it's getting a little better, perhaps I'll bear through episode three and four. But oh God. as of right now, dude, I cannot bring this plastic back up. I'm going to get it though. I'm going to do this. Hold on, I'm going to be very patient now. Hold on. Patient man time. As of right now, I just don't care enough to like watch the show. It, I lost interest in episodes one and two. And uh, that's pretty much all she wrote there, you know, like that's it's pretty much all my, my myself can handle. So that's it. I don't even, you know, I think within episode one and two, there wasn't even the most controversial stuff that happened in Star Wars. I think episode three and four had more of that stuff that people really did not like. So for me, I think, um, I think at this point here, like, I just lost interest in the acting, lost interest in the story. There wasn't really anything that kept me attached to the show, you know? So, that's all, really. I, I finished everything Star Wars except for Acolyte. Have you watched Dark Matter 2024? No, I, I've been meaning to watch that. It's on my list. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm gonna be honest guys. I think the Acolyte had a lot of really cool things. So let's talk about positives. First of all, I felt like the editing style of the show, there's gonna be no spoilers by the way. The edit, editing style of the show felt a lot like um, Phantom Menace. Loved it. Second of all, I think the, uh, the fighting in it, the hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff, it was fun. I liked a lot of that too, for the most part. And I think the environments seemed interesting. They weren't as good as some of the other Star Wars stuff, but the environments that people were in, I liked. And again, without beating a dead horse at this point, oh, so someone got into an accident. Um, I, I just really felt like the costume design felt really cheap. Everything felt so cheap about that show when it came to costume design. The second big thing for me was, I think I was taken aback a little bit from Star Wars Acolyte from the first two episodes, because in every other Star Wars, when it came to like, you know, the uh, many different races within Star Wars, like, you know, you have aliens and stuff. I just kind of felt like everyone was a humanoid in Acolyte with horns. And I don't know why, it just took, it took me out of it. So I just, I, I think I lost interest a little bit like that too. Um, acting very flat, 
storyline just wasn't there for me. No, they ha it had like $18 million per, show, per episode or something, $20 million per episode, something like crazy like that. I don't know, you watch some of the old ones and then even, even just, I don't know, there's just a variety at least. Uh, they're losing money hand over fist on it. For which one? Uh, Acolyte? Yeah, they're losing a ton of money. Like, say what you want. I actually really enjoyed Ahsoka. I thought Ahsoka was fun. Albeit, I, I think um, the acting for Ahsoka maybe wasn't always like 100 for, for Ahsoka. I felt like maybe Ahsoka was a bit more lively in the Clone Wars with the animated stuff, but... Acolyte is an example of them making something basic because it's Star Wars. Yeah. But again, it really just didn't make me want to watch it. It was just the storyline just felt really dull and it just felt cliche and like no offense to, to the person who wrote the story for that and directed it and all that stuff or produced it. It just kind of felt like really bad fan fiction. Like it, that's how the writing felt to me. It just felt like bad fanfic and I just was not into that. I watched only, uh, I only watched Rogue One, never seen anything. Rogue One was great. I also think Andor was a great example of a really fun Star Wars show too. So, The Curse A24 with Nathan Fielder and Emma Stone. Is that new? I think the last great decade for cinema TV was 90s. Okay, I gotta say this though, dude. I have been enjoying the hell out of the boys. That show has been on my, uh, <clears throat> Weekly to watch list every single every single week, dude. It is that that show has been great fun for me. I, I really like it. I think the writing is is good. Like everything feels like very everything almost feels like a like a smart ass remark in the show too, which is fun. Um, yeah, I, I I really like it. I have a love hate relationship with it. Why? I've, I'm curious. Um, I think it was episode five, right, Plady? I just watched that the other day. Andor is really good. Andor is amazing. Gen V was good too. I'm, I'm sad to hear about the, uh, I don't remember his name now, but one of the actors passed away. Uh, very, it's very unfortunate. Sad way to go too. <laughs> so, but the Gen V was fire. I don't think there's gonna be more, right? I think that they're the axing Gen V. That was really sad. Yeah, bit, bit of a bummer. All right, this is looking really good with dual shot. This is looking super good. I think I, this H is not supposed to be here. Dual shot is such a nice set. I don't think I'll ever let it go. It's it's a great set, dude. It's, it's more than just a good set. It is a fucking great set. It goes with everything. Do you lube your Obscura Springs or just the stem? I also go over the springs. I think the Obscuras have a very light coating of oil on the springs. So you don't necessarily have to do it, but I think it's I think it's fantastic to go over it one more time. The story with Huey's dad. Oh, I don't want to do any spoilers on stream. No spoilers. But yes, I think uh, the more recent episodes have been really good. I like them at least. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. I think they're great. Um, do you remember Cindy from season two? She's 11 versions of the boys. I wonder where she is now. Cindy from season two. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember that. Do you have a list of discount codes still or do those go away? Oh, any discount codes that I have that I can give you guys, they're on the vendor list. I don't have a lot of affiliate codes and discounts. Um, there's no reason as to why I just, I don't ask about them a lot of the times. If a vendor wants to give me one, then I am very grateful. But yeah, I don't necessarily go uh, asking vendors for affiliate codes and discounts. Uh, well, discount codes, yes, but affiliate codes, no. See the patient, she went one-on-one -on -one with Stormfront, but defeated, then she took a car and escaped. I have to rewatch it. I don't remember that now. Damn, I really don't remember that. Hmm. 
use code AlexOtis for 100% unknown. I don't know if that'll work, you know? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be uh, a proper code. Any plans for Canada Day weekend? I mean, sort of. I'm gonna take my camera out. I'm gonna take some pictures probably on Sunday afternoon. I'm gonna do like a family thing with my, my, my parents. I'm not gonna do anything Monday. Monday is just gonna be a normal day. I'm gonna be streaming. And then tomorrow we're doing some stuff. But I'm probably gonna, honestly, for most of the day, I'm probably just gonna be in. Do you watch F1? I do not watch F1. It's not something I'm super interested in. What about you guys? Any plans for all the Canadians here? I'm going golfing Sat Sunday, but I'm gonna need a full bottle of Aleve. Oh, the allergies do be hitting. I was like looking for the scooped keys and I don't see any scooped F and J. So smudge. Uh, I'm going to Scotland tomorrow. That sounds hella fun. That's awesome, dude. All right, let's put these back in here. All right, keyboard is looking real good, dude. The keyboard is looking great with this keycap set. This was an excellent, excellent choice. Let me zoom in a smidge. Nice haircut. Thank you, cousin. I appreciate that. Oh, sorry. It's shaking a little bit. Dude, I, I, the Kohaku and this nice, it's, it's not a light gray. It's not quite as light, light as the Neo Ergo. But dude, this keycap set looks phenomenal on every board that I've used it on so far. Dual shot is just a pleasure to use. It is just so good. Damn. The nice thing too, the Kawako has this like, I, I think this is an attractive back design for it. So when you kind of look at it, even from the, the back over here, it kind of complements it very well. Damn, this is very, very pretty. Again, I, I love the glass back to this too. I wish more boards would do this. This is just such a fun idea. The W70 taillights, oh, those are super awesome too. It's a pretty board, I think so. This is a, it turned out really nice. Wow. All right, let's see if any of the, ooh, this is already sounding good. I don't think I need to tune in the mods, but we'll, we'll kind of play around with it if we need to. So these are ultra glides, so the broken in hyper glides. We lube them with 205. Um, they are spring swapped to, what's the spring swap? I think it's 63 and a half grams. 63 and a half slow springs from Sprit. Uh, filmed with deskies and uh, an aluminum plate. That signature Kohaku spacebar. Hold on, I just need to. I'm gonna tune the space bar just a smidge. I need to add a little bit of lube there, but that's really it. <laughs> I can confidently assert this, but this is a distinct characteristic of keyboard. Love that. This sounds really good though. Very, very happy with this. Ooh, my stomach's growling. I'm talking about pizza too much now. What stabs are these? They are TX. Much better. Now the space bar sounds a little bit more even because we had to just tune it up a smidge.
As a beginner, the syringe mod is goaded. I know it's such a good mod. It's so easy to do too. So Silent, I do it one of two ways sometimes. If I have a large enough container of 205, I'll just do the thing where you press the, you, you know, press the syringe and then pull it up that way. But a lot of the times I don't have enough lube, so I'll just take the thing apart and then just carefully scoop the lube in. I hate doing it like that, but I don't have a better way to do it. I wish there was a bit more scratch there to give it a bit more moody personally. Well, hold on one second. Give me, give me a moment here. One sec, guys. I'll be right back. One sec. That I'm curious, Lean, would you like me to mod one of my vintage switches right now and try as the spacebar? It has a lot of scratch. Let's do it. Let's try it out, shall we? But I'm worried that these are, I don't think these have been cleaned. Let's see, I don't know how, uh, how good the inside of these are. I haven't actually opened these up at all yet. Whoo, yeah, these are, uh, oh, we just can't really see. They're discolored like crazy. The spring's like, just like not in bad condition, believe it or not, but oh. let's just get rid of the spring here. Also, Lean, do you want any of your old springs? Or should I just toss them? Should I just yuck them? You can toss them? Sounds good. Oh God, all these springs are tangled. Okay. Let's mod a singular switch for Lean. Oh, we have your artisan we haven't put on too. I don't know, do we need the artisan on this? Does it, will this look good with the artisan? I forgot about that. Oh, what the hell, is there no more? I thought there was like a few more left. Oh, I have them backwards. I'm stupid. I bought it cause YOLO? Yeah, we can try it on. I don't, I don't mind trying it. Damn, it's been a long time since I've looped switches on stream. Love your content, don't Lunatics. stop the grind. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate the tier one. I'll try, man. Sometimes the grind uh, for keyboard and content stuff is a little bit, it's a little bit tough, but I appreciate the love, dude. I really do. All right, so let's grab our stem. So these have been used. These are not new old stock. These are, these have been used as you can tell by some of the, the markings on the stem here. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. Yeah, there's a little bit of marking on it. I am not sure the actuations of these, but I think it'll be fun to try. We're gonna do a very extremely light coat of lube here. And Put this in. What syringe size do I use? Uh, whatever Kinetic Labs usually has. Sometimes I'll swap it out for the one that Mode in, you know, uses in theirs. I'll just change the syringe because they're kind of interchangeable that way, but it depends. All right. That bag on the left looks sick. How can I buy 100% of my keyboard equipment from that great company?
Don't look at that bag, Silent. <laughs> All right. Let us try this out. So, for curiosity's sake, remember this sound. All right. They're gonna sound similar, but the scratch is there. You know, I can hear a bit of a difference Which one do you like, Lean? Totally up to you. You can just have the Switch 2 to play around with, but... They're both nice. I just don't know which one I like more. I think I kind of prefer the whole keyboard to be... one thing, which maybe I'll lean towards having just the Ultra Glide in there, but... To me, this has a bit more of a, a depth in it. But uh, I'll let Lean play around with both of these. I mean, this is obviously very easy for him to swap back and forth. Can we hear a Nixie? I don't think I have any Nixies on me right now, believe it or not, guys. I think I have no Nixies on hand. <clears throat> no more pocket Nixies? No, I just moved them back to the uh, front room. Yeah, you can just have the Vint switch, play around with it at your own leisure. This is a little bit more basic. This is a bit more bright IMO. Yeah, I can tell there's a difference. They're both nice though. Have you tried, um, I mean here, let me go see if I can find a Nixie. You guys wanna use a Nixie, right? L let's go find a, let's go find one. <clears throat> Let me see, do I have one? I don't know if this is lubed or not. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is all modded. Here, we'll do a Nixie. I found one lying around. Who would have known? Who would have thunk it? It's hard to get the uh, switch out for the hot spot. All right, Nixie, here we go. Fuck, I, I don't know if I'm just like going crazy. I actually think this has a smidge of everything I liked about both of the other switches. It's obviously, they're all similar guys. They're all Cherry MX Blacks at the end of the day. The Vint switches, or sorry, the, uh, the Nixies have a different top, but. Fuck, I like the Nixie a little, a little bit more. I don't know. I'm personally on Team Nixie here. I can hear a little bit more depth. Well, the, the Hyperglide was the most bright and the Vint was the deepest out of all of them and scratchiest. Lean, you can have all of these three switches and play around with them. Well, one, of your, one is yours, but you can have them all and play around with them. I, guys, it's, remember, no matter what you guys like, it's all personal preference. Remember that, please. Where's my, my music? Where'd it go? Give me your music. 
In other news, water is wet and the sky is above. I'm personally team Nixie. You know what, Crydar? <laughs> why are Nixies so expensive though? They cost a dollar per switch in my country. They're a little bit more expensive. I don't know why that is. Cherry just, you know. Uh, does mod at Nixies make a big difference? I tried to stock one in a space bar and it was so lackluster and heavy. I would 1000% change the springs. I do not care for stock springs on most cherry switches, especially Nixies. You have unashamedly made me prefer Nixies over everything else. They're so good. So, so good. All right, let's put back the, uh, the hyperglide for lean. But very, very nice. Ooh, I'm sitting on my foot. Okay, guys, we need to straighten up our posture right now. All of us. The stock springs on cherry switches are abysmal. Whenever anyone talks to me about, you know, modding a cherry switch, I will 1000% say springs first before anything. All right, shall we go off into the night and into the weekend? So just to let you guys know, I'm doing the Bacchanaco Go on um, 7 p.m. on Sunday. I don't know what switches I'll use for that yet, but I hope you guys end up showing up. I think that's going to be an interesting board. I missed the stream. Yeah, we're just finishing up now. We're wrapping it up. I use silent switches on my office board. I actually just picked up a new set of silent switches. Well, ordered because I want to do a silent build for myself. Adrian, thank you so much for a prime. I appreciate that, dude. Bye, Alex. Thanks for the stream. Love you guys. I love you so much. I love you guys too, man. Thank you guys all for tuning in tonight. I sincerely appreciate everyone just hanging out and just being chill and being awesome today. And always, dude. Just be the obnoxious person with a loud board. I mean, that was me at one point. Let's go read Mr. T. He types. I heard he's looking at some keyboards. Mr. T. He. Is a new streamer worth rating? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have seen this guy before. Um, what should we tell Mr. The new streamer? Should we? What should we tell him when we rate him? Yeah, yeah. Let's do Hey New Guy. Let's do Hey New Guy. Let's do like this, and we'll, we'll throw in. Uh, we'll throw in some. Uh, some emotes. Hold on. Let me let me think of this. Let's just do a wave emote. Oh, I can't copy paste in here. I forgot. Here, we'll do this. There you guys go. Hey, new guy. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you guys very very soon, guys. Uh, always love you guys. Appreciate you guys being here. See you Sunday. See you even Monday. There is a crazy amount of keyboards next week that are happening. So I can't wait. Bye everyone and I love you. See you.